Cause they may change your life I'm gonna stay right by your side I'm gonna live to make you smile Changes they may come, oh, I Chapter 5, verse 1, he says, Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. In verse 22, he speaks to the wives, and he says, Wives, submit to your husbands. Then in verses 25, 28, and 33, he says, Husbands, love your wives sacrificially as Christ has loved the church. Because he knows husbands need things repeated over and over and over again. <laughs> Then in verse 32, he summarizes his teaching on marriage and he says this, This mystery is profound, and I'm saying that it refers to Christ and the church. In other places in scripture, we see Jesus referred to as the groom and his church referred to as his bride. And what we see is in the very beginning, God created marriage to be a glorious reflection of his grace mercy and sacrificial love that we find in Jesus. Today in marriage, Will and Connor, you're committing your life to mercifully and gracefully and sacrificially love one another the way that Jesus has loved us. Will and Connor, there will be days when you have a choice between bitterness or grace towards one another. Choose grace because that's what Jesus has showered upon us. Connor, there will be days when 
will will deserve nothing more than your wrath. But those days will be opportunities for you to show Him mercy. The same kind of mercy that Jesus has shown us. Will, there will be many days where you do not want to sacrifice your wants or your needs for Connor. But I want to encourage you to do so. Because that is the way that Jesus has loved us. Sacrificially. Will and Connor, until death parts the two of you, you will have one another in the most joyful of seasons to laugh with until you are in tears. You will have one another in the darkest of seasons to cry with until there are no tears left. You will have one another to be proud of because you will witness each other's greatest triumphs in life. You will have one another to laugh at and with in moments that only the two of you understand. You will have one another to lean on in the wake of failure when everyone else may have forsaken. You will have each other. You will walk through the brightest of days and the darkest of nights with one another precisely because you will be extending the mercy, grace, and sacrificial love of Jesus to one another. Now I want you to face each other. Do you will take Connor to be your wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do you part according to God's holy will? I do. Do you, Connor, take Will to be your wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do you part according to God's holy word? I do. Place this ring on Connor's finger and repeat after me to Connor. Connor, I give this ring. Connor, I give this ring as a visible token of my love. As a visible token of my love. And I give it to you as my own life. And I give it to you as my own life. Connor, place this ring on Will's finger and repeat after me to Will. <laughs> Will, I give this ring. Will, I give this ring. As a visible token of my love. As a visible token of my love. And I give it to you as my own life. And I give it to you as my own life. Let's pray. Father, we lift up Connor and Will to you as they vow their lives to one another in marriage. Father, we pray that you would strengthen them with your spirit to love one another the way that you have loved us, to show one another the mercy that you have shown us and the grace and the love that you have shown us. Father, we pray that on the days that selfishness tempts them, Father, that they would lay down their lives for the other. And we pray that as they do this, they would remind each other of how much you love them. And we pray that as others see this relationship, that they too would learn of your love for them. We ask these things in your name, Jesus. Amen. By the power vested in me, by the state of Georgia, before the Lord and these witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Well, I kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Will Bias.